brought to you by Cybersaw's Juma Training Cohort and MySites.Guru. If you're hosting with Cybersalt or your web host uses cPanel, here's how to create a subdomain. In your cPanel area of your web hosting account, find the domains area and go to domains. Now cPanel used to have a separate link for creating subdomains, but they've merged them all into this one. Click on domains and then you'll see if you have other subdomains as I do, you'll see a list here. Uh, click on create a new domain. You're actually creating a new subdomain and give it its name. Let's go Tim dot. And now we need to give it the rest of the domain name that you want that subdomain to be a sub of. If you have more than one domain applied to your cPanel account, then of course choose the one that you want it to be a subdomain of. Democorner.com. Now you see right away, but we have the option here, if we check this box, it would actually point this subdomain to the public HTML folder that would share with some other domain. I don't think you want to do that. You probably are uh, creating a subdomain to put a, uh, another Joomla install in a subdomain or maybe some files you want to store there and have access to or whatever reason you're creating it. So what I like to do is just allow a folder to be created in the root of the cPanel account uh, under the same name. It's really easy to keep track of. We're just going to click submit and we see success. And down here at the bottom, we see tim.democorner.com. When we go to cPanel and go to the file manager in the root of the account here, we can see there's our folder, tim.democorner.com. And when you go into there, you are all good to start adding files under that subdomain. Now, uh, on CyberSalt's hosting, a free SSL certificate will be created, should be created within the first couple of minutes. If it's not, then by all means, reach out to support tim at cybersalt.com. And the other thing too, just to mention, is that if you are hosting your zones somewhere else, so if you're not hosting your zones on your hosting control panel that you have with CyberSalt, what you're going to want to do is go to where your zones are hosted and you're going to create an A record for, in this case, Tim, and you're going to point it to the IP address that shows here for your cPanel account. And that you would do that in the zone editor wherever you have your zones hosted. Subscribe for more videos. Till next time, enjoy your human sites and God bless.